Multicellular organisms reproduce by cell division. The process of duplicating a cell's genetic material is mitosis. Meiosis is similar to mitosis, but it creates genetically different offspring. Explaining the process of mitosis and meiosis, we use Lucky Charms, Sour Patch Kids, and Pipe Cleaners to reenact the process of cell division. Mitosis is the process of nuclear division that occurs in eukaryotic cells. It is divided into four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. The end result is two dollar cells, which are called diploid cells. The diploid cells are ge genetically identical to the parent cell and contain 46 chromosomes. Cell must go through interphase before going through mitosis. Interphase is divided into three subphases, G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase. During all three subphases, the cell produces cytoplasmic organelles and proteins. Chromosomes are only duplicated during the S phase. During interphase, the chromosomes cannot be seen individually because they have not yet duplicated and the nucleus contains one or more nucleoli. After interphase, the cell is able to move on to the mitotic phase. The first step of the mitotic phase is prophase. During prophase, the chromatin fibers condense into distinct chromosomes while the nucleoli disappears. Each chromosome consists of two sister chromatids joined together in the middle at their centromeres. The arms of the chromosomes are joined by cohesions. Also, the mitotic spindle begins to form, composed of centrosomes and microtubules. The microtubules from the centrosomes lengthen, which propels the centrosomes and causes them to move away from each other. Chromatophase is the process in which the nuclear envelope begins to break down and the chromosomes start to move towards the metaphase plate. The next stage in mitosis is metaphase. During metaphase, the centrosomes are at opposite poles of the cell and the chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell with their centromeres on the metaphase plate. The microtubules are attached to the kinetic core of the homologous chromosomes. Metaphase lasts about 20 minutes, making the longest phase in mitosis. In anaphase, the sister chromatids split from each other and each chromatid becomes a full chromosome. Each daughter chromosome moves to the opposite pole of the cell and the non-kinetic core microtubules lengthen, causing the cell to elongate. In the last stage of mitosis, two daughter nuclei form. While nuclear envelopes from the remnants of the parent cells, nuclear envelope in the portions of the endomembrane system. Also, the nucleoli reappear and the chromosomes become less condensed. Cytokinesis occurs by cleavage for own animal cells and the creation of a new cell plate in plant cells, pitching the cell into two. Two, to two daughter cells that have 46 chromosomes are now created. The daughter cells are identical to the parent cell and mitosis is now complete. Meiosis is the process by which gametes or sex cells are formed. Meiosis is similar to mitosis but produces cells that contain half the number of chromosomes as that of the parent cell. In meiosis, one parent cell forms four daughter cells. After the mitotic cell cycle, meiosis begins. Meiosis I is the process that separates homologous chromosomes. The first step of meiosis I is prophase I. Prophase I begins when the DNA in the nucleus begins to condense into homologous chromosomes. Homologous chromosomes exchange DNA, creating new combinations through a process called crossing over. Points of exchange on the chromosome are chiasmata. Crossing over assures that cells produced in meiosis will be different from and will exhibit variations from the parent cell that produced them. Microtubules connect the centrosomes to one another and centrosomes begin to move toward opposite ends of the cell. The cell then moves into metaphase 1. Metaphase 1, chromosomes line up by homologous pairs along the metaphase plate. Kinetic core microtubules attach to both chromatids in each pair. Anaphase 1 is the separation of each homologous pair of chromosomes. Chromosomes move toward opposite ends of the cell. They are pulled in this direction by microtubules present in the spindle apparatus. The microtubules pull the pairs of sister chromatid apart by breaking down and releasing proteins. In kinesis, the two new haploid cells form. Each cell contains a complete haploid set of replicated chromosomes, and each chromosome contains a set of sister chromatids. In animal cells, cleavage furrow splits the two cells by pitching in from the outside. In plant cells, a new cell plate forms. The cell then moves into meiosis II, where sister chromatids are split. At this point, interphase does not occur again because each haploid cell already contains its genetic information to make two daughter cells. Prophase II is when centrosomes form and move towards opposite ends of the cell. In metaphase II, chromosomes line up along the metaphase plate. Each of these chromosomes is a, is a set of sister chromatids. These sister chromatids are not identical because of the crossing over that occurred during metaphase I. Microtubules connect to the chromosomes. In a phase 2, the microtubules begin pulling sister chromatids apart toward opposite ends of the cell. Telophase 2 is the formation of the nuclear membrane, and cytokinesis is the final separation of the two new cells by either cleavage furrow in animal cells or new cell plate forming in the plant cells. The final result is four daughter cells that contain half of the genetic information of that of the parent cell. In humans, each haploid cell contains 23 chromosomes, while each parent cell contains 46 chromosomes. These haploid daughter cells are sex cells that are necessary for reproduction. Meiosis is important because it creates variation, which is ultimately the driving force behind natural selection in the world we live in today.